Lift up your hands. In Jesus' name. Look here. Jesus. I stretch my hand to you. Yeah, now lift up your hands, the power of God will come. Good morning, people of God. My name is Pastor Alice from Botswana. I came here at Charis Missionary, where I belong. I was here before, but today I came back. The reasons and challenges that got me here is my brother. My brother, I could see his life is not okay. And because our mother passed away, I am the mother, so I got concerned about his life and came to bring him here. Yeah, his challenges were like, I could see, as a mother, you can see that the child is not okay at all. Um, he retired, but when I looked at his life, I could see he's not okay. Uh, then I suspected that that one can be for a prophet to tell me. Then I came with him here to seek uh, the face of God. His challenges, I could see he was thinking too much and I could see I was sensing depression coming and I was not sure about it and I wanted to find out. It affected me so much because I'm looking at him as my father because I don't have a father and a mother. So for him, I should look up to him as my parent, but now I became a parent to him, so I could see there was something wrong. When we met with the Apostle on one on one, it's him who went first anyway. And as he was seated, Apostle called me, which I was happy about. Then I realized, yes, I am the mother. Then he told me that he saw that there is a mental problem approaching him. Then I said, yes, I could see that because the time I met him, I was so worried and I looked at him and I was suspecting something like mental. Then he said he was dis depressed because he has been thinking too much and he feel this depression attacking him. And the portal say no, it's an attack. It's an attack and it means he's being attacked so that he can go mental. So that's something that you about your brother. Is that the only thing that is going to happen? Apart no. from that, Apostle continued to say, apart from that, he see we, we have a case and that case is in the family of which when he described it's exactly what is happening. He said, um, he see my brother as an elderly person who should have been married by now, but he doesn't see a wife. And he was asking if there was a wife. My brother confirmed there was no one. And I confirmed that there has been nobody since I knew my brother. He didn't have any wife, he didn't marry before, and he's even now not married. Then Apostle said, it is a curse, and it's not only affecting my brother, even me and the whole family. He say he see people getting married and they divorce without any reason, which we confirmed 
true. Then again with me, I got married. I was in the marriage only for two years, of which the, it was like getting in and getting out. I didn't experience the full marriage like others, of which I confirmed it's true. Oh, I feel, I don't know, that experience, I'm full of joy. And I know if God has said it, surely there's a way, and surely we are delivered. He even said we'll come back with a testimony, of which I feel right now that I have a testimony already. This is my testimony. I did not know what my brother was going through, and I feel like, yes, I've been there for him by bringing him here. And Apostle said he is very appreciating the work I do for my brother, and God will bless me for that. I will just say, whoever has a brother, a sister, or any parent whom you just see and suspect something, don't run away with them from God. Carry them to God. God will decide and God will make a way.